but this has been like a miracle. It's amazing. Today I'm going to show you how these two things can be a lifesaver. It could be a lifesaver in your garden, your house, your garage, camping, kitchen. You're going to look at this and go, wow, I can use this all over. I can use it for this. It can hold up pots. It can hold up pans. It can hold the cabinet door shut. It can hold your plants up, your tomato plants, your peppers, your cucumbers. You could put the core outside in your garden. You could do anything with this. And you're going to go, wow, I need to do this too. And you know what? They cost pennies, pennies. And you're going to be able to do so much around the house with this, even in your car. So let's go see what I can do with this. I must call this the amazing garden tie. Look at this. I've been tying up all my dragon fruit around the garden. It is so easy to use. It doesn't harm any of the plants. Now here, my flowers had fallen over. You can't even see it. It is tucked way underneath. And because it's black, it disappears against the foliage. It is tucked there. There, no, no, where is it? Where is it? Can't find it. There it is. It's holding up all the hummingbird lunch and all the different salvias there. And look how beautiful. Now I can enjoy my fountain and not have to cut the flowers down that the hummingbirds are using. I fixed up my water fountain. The hummingbirds can now land on top of this. They can land on this quarter inch tubing. I wrapped it around to hold it also so it doesn't shake. No longer is there a vibration. And I put a little bit of yarn there because the water was hitting it. So now the water guides back into the bowl. And also I made a holder for the solar panel, which is now wired onto the top of this gazebo I'm using. And guess what? I made a bird feeder. I just twisted two pieces of wire. I made a circle in the center to hold a bowl and the excess wire. It's a perch for the birds to land on. This has been so much fun. We're gonna go over exactly how to make this and I think you're gonna to wanna to make it too. The birds love it, the garden loves it, your house loves it. You have a pot you need to hang up. Oh yes, you can hang up pots, pans, strainers, anything around your kitchen. And as far as hummingbird feeders, Make one for the hummingbird feeders as well and a swing because the hummingbirds have been swinging and so are the Orioles. So as this garden season goes on, you're gonna see me using this quarter inch tubing with the wire inserted the way I put it in everywhere. Here I'm simply wrapping it around the tubing I've got up. That's a half inch and it's in a tomato state and it's holding up and guiding up my tomato. Now, if you wanted to keep it in place, you thought it was a little loose, you can use a painter's tape. They last all season in the garden and it will work perfect. So you could just kind of tape it around so it this way the quarter inch tubing won't slide around. That's if you feel you need it. And then you, you remember it bends. So now you're going to bend it very gently around your tomato. And being smooth, that smooth plastic, it doesn't hurt the trichomes on the tomato plant. It doesn't damage any plants. Now another way you could do it is like here. I simply just wrapped it around to pull the tomato up. I'm trying to guide the tomato in a direction I want it to go, but you could use it for any way you're growing your tomatoes or any plant. And it just makes a little hook. You hook it on to whatever you've got staked there and now the tomato plant is up. Now you can get really fancy if you want. Being that the half inch irrigation tubing is stuck in rebar, there's nothing on the top there. I can take a hot soldering iron. You know, I love my soldering irons and go all the way through the half inch irrigation tubing here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide in the quarter inch tube that I've got the wire in, the bendable tubing. I have to put the hot soldering iron down, but look at that, it slides in. It's not gonna go anywhere. You don't need tape or anything. And it slid through the half inch because remember, the rebar is on the bottom. It doesn't go through the whole tubing there. It's just holding it the half inch up and now the plant's being held up. Is that cool or not? Remember, everything you use can be put away after gardening season and used later. Here's a simple hook. Look at that, nothing with nothing. Just a quick hook and it's holding up my tomato plant there. This has been the greatest thing. This one's looped around, see how that is? Got that extra piece there, cause it was long that quarter inch where I slid it in, where I made the hole with the soldering iron. And I can always use that other end as the plant continues to grow. Isn't that cool? Look at how you can use this. Oh, you're gonna go wild with this. You're gonna use it everywhere. Holding up my plant, no damage, no nothing. It's so easy, you can take it off if you want. Once the plant grows, you can move it, do anything you want with it. 
Make extra so you can carry them around the yard too. But you're making this, there it is, being held up by the tape. You're making it the size you want. Now this was cut a little longer. It's been looped around. Now it's creating a little sunshade, but I can drape that with some tool. And that's over my cucumbers. Look at that. Just twist it around anywhere you need it. Carry them in your pocket. Stick them up there when you got those plants falling. There's that hook again I showed you. Simple as can be. It will hold up any plant. You saw what it was doing in the bird garden. You can now see how you can use it everywhere around the garden. Yeah, there's my apple tree being simply held up by a quarter inch irrigation tubing with the wire inside. So let's go inside and make them and I'll show you how easy it is. So this is how we're going to make the ties, whether we use it in the house or in the garden. We're gonna use quarter inch irrigation tubing. It is so cheap, you get a big roll for $5. You may have that roll forever. Now you're gonna cut it to the size that you need. This is what's so wonderful about it. Look at that. You want it short, you want it long. Now the other thing you'll need is rebar wire. And the reason I'm using this is you get over 300 feet for $10, it'll last you forever, and it's the cheapest wire you can get. Now here is how I make mine. You slide it in and then you pull it back. Look at that. And pull it back where it's about a quarter of an inch or so on the inside of the tubing. You don't need it all the way to the end. And then just cut it off. And if it's a little hard to cut, then wiggle it. Look at this. You now have a tie. You're done. You can make this to any size. Now I take a little skewer and I push it in sometimes. I'm actually showing you here, but I'll tell you, I don't bother. It slips in and it works perfect. This way you don't cut yourself accidentally. Now you can use these wires that you've created, these cables in any fashion you want. Yes, you can go buy them, but what are you gonna do? Buy 10 cables for $20 and then they come in a certain size? When you've got those two things there, the irrigation tubing, quarter inch, and the rebar wire for $10, you have this at your beck and call when you want it. You wanna make a hook for something to hang up a hummingbird feeder, to hang up a pot in the kitchen, anything you want, you have it there on hand and you make it to the size that you need and you want. You can't get anything better or cheaper than this. And let me tell you something, I've been using this all over the garden and in the house everywhere. And I know you're gonna love it. The easiest thing to make. So now you see what we can do with this. And let me tell you something. There's a thousand, 10,000 more things you can do because I have been putting this and using it everywhere. Every day I think of something else. Every day Gary thinks of something else. Couple little hints while we're talking about this. If you want it even stiffer, you're gonna hang something heavier, you can slide two wires in here. There's enough room in this quarter inch tubing. Now, if you're gonna give it to kids to use, and I showed you how to make it a little shorter, you could always fill the holes with a little bit of hot glue, and then you will cap it, and then it's safe for kids. But all in all, as long as you're cutting the wire shorter, because you're not gonna bend the very, very tip, there should not be a problem, but a lot of stuff we want to supervise the little ones. But this has been like a miracle. It's amazing what you can do with this. It is in the garden, my go-to tool now. When I am staking up tomatoes, all I have to do is just put it around a tomato and it's there. And you know what's so great about it? When you're done with it, you can throw these in a container later after gardening season and be ready for the next season. You're going to step back after I close this video up and you're gonna go, oh my gosh, I know what to do with it. Oh my goodness, this is an answer to a problem I had. Cable wires, anything, a wire that's over your head, just hook it up and get it out of your way. You can buy them, I told you that, but what are you gonna spend? $30 to get maybe 20 of them when you can have all you want? 328 feet. This is 50 for $5. You can't beat that. It works perfect. I have no complaints on it. You can hang anything you want and you're gonna step back and go, wow, I know that. I already know I can hear the gears going in your brain and you're gonna be putting all those, guess what I'm gonna do with it underneath and go ahead and list it because I'm gonna read it and so is everybody else. Everybody, give everybody ideas on how you're gonna use it. I think it's wonderful because we need to save money and this is gonna be the cheapest way because you can buy this anywhere, Home Depot, Lowe's, online, because this wire is the cheapest wire you can find because it's used for rebar. And when they do that much work and they buy so many in this, you know, so many big rolls like this, 
They're really, really cheap. Like the irrigation tubing, they buy it by thousands of feet. So they keep the price down. That's why this is so cheap. So get those gears going and you tell me what you're planning on doing with it. With that, hmm, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I think I can design a hummingbird out of it. You know, make it a little longer and we can design animals in the garden as decor. Okay, there's room for improvement. That's bendable. We're getting there.